Uh, you know, it's it is very fulfilling because here you've created a shrine that talented people can come in and express their talents in this environment. It, it, to me, that to use my talent to enable others to express their talent, uh, it, to me, was very, very satisfying. Satisfying, I should say. My, my, my thing was mostly redoing existing structures. I was like a plastic surgeon to a lot of buildings. I would give them another 20, 30 years of life rather than tear them down and start from scratch, which a lot of my uh, uh, fellow architects uh, frowned upon. They all wanted to start over and have their own signature style. I always saw some value in what somebody else did. And if there's some way, if it were a historical building, don't change it. Maybe make it work for today's times, like adding the air conditioning, the safety features, the, uh, the seismic problems, and uh, the parking, uh, somehow work it in to make it work without being, uh, without it ruining the original. And we, I did that for many buildings. Uh, another building in town, you, that was significant was the uh, was the place of the Sunset Towers, which was an apartment building. I was I was not the architect on. I was a consultant hired by the uh, uh, designer and developers who uh, consulted with me in manners and ways of bringing that back to a hotel. They changed it. Uh, uh, it's now currently the Argyle Hotel. Before that, it was the St. James Club, and that was, and we preserved the Art Deco historical character of it. And that was the only other significant building. And there too, that building had a history for the people who inhabited it. That's great. Um, and uh, so, what uh, particularly did you like about the Ambassador Hotel? Um, you say that you see um, that every building has something of value. What did you see in the Ambassador Hotel? Well, I would say it was the diversity of the uh, things that occurred there. It was both a, a habitat for people who would come there and live for a few nights. Uh, Howard Hughes had a whole suite of rooms there. And, uh, and vacationers would come from all over the country to stay there. Had a swimming pool with a sandy beach was unique. They even had some, like a zoo there, I believe, at one time. And had all the things there to entertain the people and also provide them a shelter to live for the brief period while they were while they were uh, doing uh, uh, doing different uh, uh, entertainment uh, explorations. They came here for the motion picture industry. And then the fact that the Academy Awards picked it to house there, well, it was the second, the second uh, award was, uh, was held there. And they had it for several, several following years. And uh, it was interesting. It was just interesting to be able to see all the diverse things like that.